Good morning, everyone. Have you ever found it difficult to forgive someone? Have you ever wondered how to forgive? Today's reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew shows us three things. What to forgive, how to forgive, and also why we should forgive. This parable that Jesus tells his disciples is actually an answer to a question that Peter asks him in verse 21. Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answers, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. Numbers, as you know, are very important in the Bible. Six is the number of the days of creation. And on the seventh day, God rested. He rested, and he showed us that we also should rest on the seventh day and have a day of rest. So Peter asks whether he should forgive seven times. That is, up to once a day, every day. So it seems like a big enough challenge for us to forgive every day, or, in worst case scenario, to forgive the same person every single day. So it's a great thing that Peter acknowledges that we should forgive every day. But Jesus takes it a step further and says 70 times 7 to encourage us not to count either the days or the number of times each day, but to be ready to forgive many times every single day. In this use of numbers, Jesus also shows us why we should forgive. Since the seventh day in the book of Genesis is the day of rest, Jesus reminds us that it is only when we forgive many times every day that we are truly able to rest. We can only fully rest from conflicts, hatred, and anxieties when we realize that, number one, we need to forgive. And number two, we need to forgive not just once, but every day. And this is our starting point. We need to go further, however, because of how Jesus responded. We need to forgive every day, and we need to forgive without keeping track of how many times we have forgiven every single day. The section which opens up with how often we should forgive moves on to give us an example of forgiveness in the story of the king, and it gives us more reasons of why we should forgive. There are three people in this parable. So let's dig into it a little deeper. There is a king and there are two servants. The king forgives the first servant a very large amount, but the servant is not able to forgive the other servant a very small amount. Ironically, that's what I wrote. The first servant owed the king 10,000 talents. So what is a talent? A talent was a coin made of either copper, silver, or gold. So if that talent, if that piece of coin was only one ounce of gold, calculated at today's rate of $1,500 an ounce, <laughs> that equals $15 million. He owed him $15 million. The second servant owed the first servant 100 denarii. What is a denarius? A denarius is a laborer's wage for one day. Therefore, if the laborer was working eight hours a day for $20 an hour, then 100 denarii would be approximately $16,000. So Jesus contrasts that the king was willing to forgive the servant $15 million dollars but the servant was not willing to forgive his fellow servant $16,000. There are other important contrasts in this parable. The king 
had compassion on his servant, listened to him, released him, and forgave him. But the servant choked the other servant, did not allow him to speak, did not want to listen, and threw him into prison. The king, of course, in this gospel represents God, who forgives us daily and forgives us very large amounts. And the first servant represents us, who have a hard time forgiving each other large amounts, because 16,000 is still a large amount, but we even have a hard time forgiving insignificant amounts compared to how much God forgives us. So the parable teaches us how often to forgive, always, what to forgive, everything, and why to forgive, because God forgives us, and, forgives, and forgiveness frees us and allows us to rest. This sounds great, but there's a bit of a problem. What if we forgive someone and that person takes advantage of us or hurts us again? This is often the case with money. If you lend someone an amount, they often forget and then come back very shortly asking for more. There's a story of two friends who met up after a few years. And the first friend asked the other friend, he said, do you remember when we were in kindergarten how we used to play in the playground? And the other friend said, of course, we used to play with, this, with that red soccer ball. He says, that's good, you have a great memory. He said, do you remember when we graduated from high school, the kind of car that I drove? He goes, of course, you had that red Chevrolet, and we drove around the whole park with it. He says, that's good. He says, do you remember when I lent you $100? He says, no, I forgot. <laughs> this is often the story with people who have exceptional memory. They remember everything except money that you may have or not have lent them. So when it comes to finances, if people can't manage their own money, which they worked for, why would you expect them to manage the money you gave them, which they did nothing for? Forgiveness, however, does not mean that we allow someone to take advantage or hurt us over and over again. We should always have healthy boundaries, but not translate that into solid walls between us. Forgiveness does not mean we always say yes to whatever someone asks of us, especially if they can't repay it. If we owe someone something, this parable does not give us permission to not repay that amount. We still need to do everything we, we can to repay our debts. But forgiveness does not mean we allow someone to disrespect or hurt us if you have genuinely tried to resolve a problem, sometimes a respectful distance is the only solution. Because forgiveness does not mean that the other person did not hurt us or that he or she is right. It just means that we are able to stop carrying the burden and the load of anger, hatred, revenge, negativity, pain, and disappointment around with us every single day of our life. People often say, they did not say or treat me the way they should have. That's fine. But what we need to say is, I'm not going to carry that as a burden of hate every single day of my life. Forgiveness allows us the freedom to let go of all the details of a problem that actually no one can possibly solve. Sometimes we try to resolve problems, and all people talk about is he said, she said, he did, he di he, she did, and that ends up in being an endless controversy that just creates more problems. Forgiveness reminds us that although others have made mistakes and hurt us, we too have made many mistakes in our life and have hurt many people. If we ask for forgiveness, we should also be ready to forgive and free others and ourselves even before someone apologizes or is ready 
to apologize. Forgiveness is freeing. Forgiveness means that if someone owes us something or has hurt us, we still have to treat them with respect and that hatred, anxiety, and all the other burdens doesn't actually solve anything. So this parable reminds us that we need and actually do receive God's forgiveness. It reminds us that we need but may and sometimes offer others forgiveness. It also reminds us that we need and sometimes we get forgiveness from others. The challenge in today's gospel is to align to what God does and what God wants. A few chapters earlier, when Jesus teaches the Our Father, he says, Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. So he places this as a condition. Today's translation says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Different translations will focus on different things, but the RSV version says, Forgive us our debts as we also have, we have forgiven our debtors. It is very significant that Jesus starts this parable by saying, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. This is important because when we forgive, we live the kingdom of heaven. When we forgive, we live in the kingdom of heaven. And when we forgive, we live for the kingdom of heaven. Jesus teaches, teaches, teaches us what to forgive, how to forgive, and why we need to forgive. Forgiveness is a choice we need to make many times a day. Today is the best day to start.